My name is Colleen Paradise, and this is my story. On May 12, 2014, my son committed suicide. After a couple months of depression, I finally came up with a plan. With the help of my daughter, Monica Paradise, my nephew, Cole Paradise, and our cousin, Russ Abel, we formed a running group called Running for Wellness. The group was put together to do a memorial run for my son, Anthony Paradise. We ran each Sunday for our mental health, and this continued for a year. In June of 2015, we completed that run. over again trying to figure out what we were going to do next. Russ came up with the idea to do the Spartan Challenge. So they went to McCall, Idaho and they did their first Spartan Challenge. And just like a junkie, they were addicted. My daughter, Monica, was never a strong girl. She couldn't do push-ups or pull herself up, but they went and they completed it. And from that point on, they came home and training became very serious for them. They spent many hours working out, running, looking forward to their next competition. In June, they went to the Boise Sprint. In September, they went to the Beast. The Beast was held in Lake Tahoe. And in November, they went to the Super. And that was held in Sacramento. Many years ago, an aunt told me, life is hard. It will throw many obstacles at you. Get over it and move on. words I have brought up many times to myself and I feel that when these guys started the Spartan challenge that's what we were doing we were climbing over those obstacles and we were moving on mental health is why we started running for wellness so that you don't make yourself sick inside. So we run for our health, our mental health, in my final words to you, my journey is not over. It has just begun. Go Russ. I find all ways to research about suicide and my mental health. When he first committed suicide, many of the questions that everyone faces is why? You know, what happened? What did I do wrong? The guilt. It was all there. But now, after two years, I realize the question why will never be answered. But what I've learned from this 
I speak out and say my son has committed suicide. I don't hide it. And when I talk about him, I tell you, my son committed suicide. Because once you let it out there and you tell people, a big burden has been lifted from your shoulders. And it gets easier with time. I still miss him every day. But I now try to help people that have, are attempting suicide or thinking about suicide to find a different answer. Because life is hard and we have to move on. And to the people that have lost somebody, it doesn't care how you lost them. Car accident, you know, diseases, cancer, and you feel that depressed. And you don't know what to do. Start with healing yourself. Find an activity that you enjoy. Make yourself go. Push yourself to be there. And it is going to take time. But time heals all things, they say. And I think it's true. Because in time, you do heal. But it's always going to be in your heart. It's always going to be in your mind. Each and every day, you think of the person you lost. I challenge you to come out and start running for your health. And like many other things, each day you will get stronger. Thank you. Smile.